So continuing my series going over the lowest recoil weapon build for Arena Breakout Infinite, we have what I think is the most well-statted weapon build in the entirety of the game with the MPX. Now something I think that's pretty cool with the MPX in a lot of extraction games is that you can basically turn them into the size of a full rifle. Going from this small SMG to this being full built to basically the size of a rifle, but what's also similar to a lot of other extraction shooters this thing has literally no recoil in fact if you look at the stats this has a hundred vertical recoil so the lowest possible and 97 horizontal so close to the lowest possible while also having a 50 round mag and 81 ergo like i said i think this has the best overall stats of any weapon in the game but starting off we have all the pieces to our stock so we have the mpx stock adapter then on that we have the ar premium extended tube the red version then on that we we have the carbine industrial stock then on that we have the butt pad and like all of my previous videos going over build this stock combination is expensive so if you don't want to use that but you still want to use a pretty decently built weapon just use either of these other stocks you have the mpx collapsible stock actually doesn't lose a lot it shows us 29k here so it'll probably be around 30k but that'll still be significantly cheaper than all of these other parts Put together and this will still have 92 vertical recoil and 85 horizontal so this weapon will still basically have zero recoil if you want the build to be quite a lot cheaper but then we have the pistol grip which is the lightweight tactical ar rear grip and then going up we have the mpx double clip charging handle this does actually give us plus one ergo and then for our upper receiver we're using the mpx gen one upper receiver and then on top of that we're going to have whatever sight you want to use like i've recommended for a lot of my other builds using one of the small sight mounts and then using something like a compact reflex sight is a very cheap compared to basically any other sight and these sights are actually very good in this game so if you're going to be at say medium or close ranges this is going to be some of the cheapest and best sights you can use so if you're on something like armory which is definitely where i'd recommend you use this more something like this is super good but because this weapon has basically no recoil you can use it at medium ranges you'll just have to spray down people a little bit more so you could use more long range sights maybe a 1x 4x or a 3x with a smaller sight on top or maybe even like a 3x hollow sight pretty much any more medium range sights can still be used to pretty good effectiveness with this weapon but then for the handguard we're going to be using the mpx 14 inch modular locking handguard then we're going to be using the mpx extended barrel and then going down for the grip we're using the 4.1 inch modular lock rail then on that we're using the lightweight tactical vertical front grip and then for the muzzle device we're using the ar series multi-caliber flash suppressor and this thing is incredibly cheap by the way now if you do want slightly more ergo and one more accuracy you could use the nine millimeter muzzle brake this does have one less recoil but again this thing's already a laser beam so you could use that you can also use any suppressor you want all these suppressors are decently cheap they drop the recoil and ergo by a little bit but suppressors in extraction shooters are usually really good will be a bit more expensive but the weapon will still be a laser beam and then for the magazine we're just going to be using the 50 rounder you do actually have some options with this weapon because you also have the 41 round or stick magazine which will still be pretty good it's a nine millimeter so you want as big as max as you can get and the 50 rounders don't have an ergo issue because of this weapon and they're not super expensive probably 25 to 30k and the 41 rounders are going to be like half the price you also have 30 rounders but i wouldn't recommend using those if you're running a full build weapon like this now that brings us to our ammo now you do actually have a few different options starting off with the leg ammo which are dumb dumb rounds now these are pretty cheap at 210 a round and like I've mentioned before, I personally don't really like using leg ammo, but if you like using leg ammo, this is one of the best weapons to use a leg ammo with. 9 mil Dum Dum is pretty cheap and it's very good leg ammo. 77 damage. If you're good at actually shooting people in the legs or in the arms, Dum Dum is really cheap and really good. You, and one of the better things about if you're good with this type of ammo is it doesn't matter what armor they're using, they can't really armor their legs. So you could easily kill somebody with like full tier six with these decently cheap dum-dum 
some rounds. But if you're looking for armor penning ammo, you have AP 6.3, which is level 3 penning, so it has 48 base damage, which is pretty good for a 9 mil weapon. Actually has pretty good pen at 30, primarily going to be piercing level 3, but still going to be good for like level 4. You're going to have to really put a lot of rounds into like level 5 and above, but this is only 582 around. That's kind of middle of the road pricing for this penetration of ammo. And then if you want to go higher for tier 4 penning, you have 7 and 31. 1600 round. That's actually pretty decent priced for a level 4 penning ammo. And the base damage is still pretty much the same. So if you want to go a bit more expensive, this ammo is going to be pretty good. So if you're running higher tier runs, this actually isn't that super expensive of an ammo for how good it actually is. So all three of the options I think are actually pretty decent. You're going to be spending a little bit once you're getting to AP 6.3 or 7N31. But also if you do run a bunch of say armory, you usually do start to get a decent bit of AP 6.3. So you can just save it up and use it from just obtaining it in raids as well. But that's the entirety of this MPX build. Like I mentioned, this thing has the most ridiculous stats. It literally doesn't move when you're fully automatic spraying it. So if you pair this with good ammo, you won't have issues staying on target. But that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.